beginning, but we become used to it or worked our way around it. But I, I guess the interesting thing for me and a lot of people is when the spectator writes that there are briefing documents prepared for the new Minister of Transport and there are questions about Hamilton's willingness to move forward on public transit, they're watching us. And when you see a bus lane debate that lasts at least four hours with three motions that didn't go anywhere but there sure was an awful lot of intent, um, are we shooting ourselves in the foot with this whole debate about public transit knowing that LRT money is sitting out there over the horizon? Yeah, not at all. Um, I firmly believe that the, uh, the province is looking at the case that's being made. Uh, we have a rapid ready that uh, sort of uh, more or less spells out a pretty compelling case in how we get to that uh, position. The investments, over $60 million in investments to actually get in a position that you're ready for things like LRT. That's a lot of expenditures and no one's committing to that at this point, but nevertheless there's a, a plan there. Um, on a two kilometer pilot program on a bus lane, is hardly a way to measure uh, failure or success of uh, moving forward on an LRT. In fact, I mean, the province is much more sophisticated than that. We're talking about a billion dollar investment. Um, the but bus lane is... Some people think that the province is looking for an excuse to get out from underneath a poorly worded commitment to the city of Hamilton. But there's a lot of money involved here and at stake for the city. Yeah, well, if you look at the headline today in Mississauga, uh, you know, uh, they were saying that the LRT is unaffordable unless they get $100 million of uh, uh, commitment, mm -hmm. sorry, 100% 100, 100 commitment of funding from the 100%, let's be clear, 100% funding for the LRT or it's un unaffordable. So nothing's changed in Mississauga either. Uh, we've got a formal position on the table. We've had plenty of time for the staff to come forward and uh, the provincial staff or the minister to come and make an announcement. It hasn't happened. Um, if you want to believe in those uh, public uh, transit advocates uh, that anything you do is look through a microscope when it comes to LRT, well, I don't subscribe to that. I mean, it has to make sense. And the reality is, is we have uh, uh, David Dixon, our new director, he come forward and he made it pretty clear that best practices in North America would see 2,000 people per hour uh, in transit. Currently we're at 1,100. It's going to take a couple of years to get there. So we're already not even at that threshold that you would implement something like a bus lane. So this bus lane is more about show and not a, uh, about really truly resolving issues. Um, the question I asked Dave Dixon was, what problem are we trying to solve at this point? There is no problem. Uh, the real issue and, tr and challenge are got nothing to do with the bus lane. It has to do with capacity and investment and routing and rationalization and routing and those kinds of things not a bus lane. We don't have trouble moving people uh, uh, along the east-west corridor at this time. So, and we don't have that critical mass yet. So I don't want to prematurely deal with things in advance of creating a, a greater public uh, consensus in this community. And Doug, you know, we just came out of an election and it's pretty clear coming out of that election where people were on both the LRT and on the bus lane. I'm one of those believers that inevitably we're going to need bus lanes, BRTs, and perhaps even LRTs. The question is when, and I think we have to do that due diligence. What's more important to me is we also talk about community engagement, and I don't think we've done a good job in educating the broader community, and I'm not talking about just one geographic mm -hmm. area in the city, the downtown. I'm talking about the broader community and talking about what we need to do to meet our transportation needs today, tomorrow, and into the future. And that would include a, ma a rapid ready transit uh, uh, program that's uh, interfaced with the master transportation study that deals with movement of goods, movement of people and vehicles, and of course our public transit system. It would touch on everything that, move, that has to do with uh, moving around this community and every geographic corner of this uh, community. And that report is, uh, that study is just starting. So what better thing to do than taking the information we acquired through this bus lane uh, um, pilot, plug it into that master transportation plan, truly engage the broader community, come out with a comprehensive plan and strategy that really is visionary and really uh, gives an opportunity for more people to buy into. That's my position, it's been my position from day one. You were quoted in the debate as saying the future is not now, and I think you just laid out your reasons for that. A fellow councillor called that stance now.